Hendrix Northy and I are using this book called The Organic Artist for Kids and it's all about using nature to make art. Hi huh, Hendrix. So what are we doing today? <laughs> Making pigment. From what? From rocks. Making pigment from rocks for our? Uh, for paint. For our paint, yeah. Stinky Creek. Let's go find the Stinky Creek. Oh, that looks like a tunnel. It is like a tunnel. Go ahead. Watch your footing. Let's go find the Stinky Creek. You okay? Watch out for the puddle, Mommy. Puddle? Okay, I'll make sure. Here it is. Oh, yeah, here it is. All right, we're going to go into the creek. Are you ready? Yes. Just a little bit. Hey, North. What up, girl? Look at Northy right now. <laughs> Okay, so Hendrix, how do we know if a rock is going to be good for our paint? Scratch it up. Yeah, you need to scratch it against something hard like a bigger rock, or you can use concrete. And you'll know if the paint comes off of it pretty, or if the pigment comes off of it pretty, pretty, pretty easily. For this one. Let's try this one, yeah. Some of them aren't as, oh, that one's pretty good. You see that? So we're gonna put it right there so we know which rock it came out of. How about this one? Go ahead. Yeah, this one came from our yard and it's white, perfect. And you don't want it to just scratch off, you want the actual color to come off of it. Check that one out. <gasps> oh, check cool. this one out. Mom. Try it, go ahead and try it, right? Oh, I think you have to do it. Oh, mommy, it's yeah. white. So the ones that are more porous like that tend to be a little better too, and soft the, the soft rocks. Like this one's pretty soft. This I watch. Try. You wanna try this one? Try it right here. Or somewhere over there. There, look at that. Nice, Hendrix. There we go. That one's pretty soft and easy to use. It's kinda like a really soft chalk. Oh mommy. Here's that porous one that I talked about. Ooh, look at all these colors. Ooh, look at are these colors? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what this one is. Are we ready to smash them up? Sure, we can. We're gonna pair these ones up together and we are going to use some fabric here and basically cover it up. Hendrix, nice and careful. Go ahead and smash them up. When you're dealing with dust, mm -hmm. You want to wear some protective eyewear. We do not have safety goggles with us right now, so we're going to put your swim goggles on, okay? Why, Mama? Yeah, I'm good. You look cool, man. You basically want to dump this into here. If you have a funnel, even better. It might make it easier. So you want it to look like flour, and that means very powdery. All right, so I worked on it, got it nice and fine. You can go longer, we don't have a lot of time, because as you would imagine, we are waiting for Northy to wake up any minute now. So what do we need to do with this? Pour it into glass. Pour it into here. You want to do it on a non-windy day, don't, <laughs> but uh, it's kind of hard. Uh. This is a bonus step. Not everybody needs to do, but this will make your paint even better, I guess. Hey, Dad, I need to work on our, our paint. Whoa. See? Whoa. You want to fill this up with just enough water where it's covered. Well, Mommy. I know. So what happens is, Hendrix, the, the fine particles are going to float 
and the really lumpy, clumpy ones are gonna be down at the bottom. So we are gonna create a fine paint so it's not so grainy when we paint, although that could be cool too. We're gonna dump this out with just the water. Give it a second to settle. Again, you can wait a lot longer. We don't have a lot of time, so we're just gonna do it now. Ready, Hen? So here we go. We have our next set of colors here, and we're going to dump it back into our mortar. I tried to wipe it down a little bit. Again, we are kind of rushing because Northy's gonna wake up any minute now. I think we might only do two colors today, okay, Hendrix? Because, so we wanna have time to paint too. If you get the idea, you can use different rocks, different colors, different pigment. All right, so Hendrix cracked the egg for us <laughs> right at the bottom. See, so we've taken the egg yolk and we are moving it back and forth, okay? Yeah, yeah you wanna help? Hold the shell. Okay, dump it into mommy's. And we're trying to get rid of all that extra stuff. Here, I'm gonna dump it back into yours. And then we're gonna peel that little slimy coat off of it. I think it varies how you want the paint to be, but the book says to do one part pigment, so that's the powder part, uh. for one part egg yolk and two parts water. But I'm just gonna wing it. Right now we're looking like this. We're gonna mix it with a little egg yolk. Okay, hen? And I'm only gonna put a little because uh, mommy. we really didn't have that much pigment in there to begin with. So right now looking like that and looking like that. Hendrix has decided to grab the paintbrush to mix it. That's fine. Go ahead, buddy, mix it up. You can use different parts of nature to act as your paintbrush, but we're gonna use this for today just because um, it's less to think about, but we have used twigs before and different kinds of flowers and things. Ooh, what do you think? Nice, so that is paint made from rocks. Kind of like the Stone Age, huh? Yeah, what do you think about making paint from rocks, Hendrix? Good. So we found these, these rocks today at the creek and we made our own paint with it. 